Jr. What a difference a year has made with this 88 team and driver Earnhardt because we talked about what he did at Pocono. If he can lead these last 11 laps in those two races alone, he would have led 131 laps. He only led 52 laps total last year, and if he can close it out with a top 10 finish today, and it looks like he will, he'll match his top 10's total from 2011. Big championship implications here. Dale Earnhardt Jr. entered today. 10 points behind Matt Kenseth for the championship lead. And he gets that victory, which means bonus points when we come toward the chase. Yeah, but here's the championship implications. The championship implications are he can win races and win a championship. You know, I mean, everybody's talked about it. Can he move? We know he's can make, he can make points. We've seen him make points. We've seen him do that for the last couple of years to be in the chase. But he needed to step over that broom into that area where you say, yeah, I can win races and win them on a regular basis. He could have theoretically be sitting here going for his second win in a row. Well, he's finished second seven times since he last won here four seasons ago. And you think about some of the moments. Last year's Coca-Cola 600 coming to turn four, runs out of gas. Martinsville when Kevin Harvick got him in the closing laps. He smelled the front, just hasn't been able to get there. And there's a pass for position. Matt Kenseth driving to the inside of Jimmy Johnson to grab the third spot on track. These two guys have gone at it for about the past 25 laps. They've not let each other get more than about a car length or two from each other. Alan Hart Jr. down at turn one. Some lap traffic there to the inside of Travis Quapple. That thing just that rotates. Thing is on a rail. Yeah, it just rotates through the center. When he picks up the gas, it changes directions. It changes directions, and it just drives up off the gas. Yeah, it sticks. It sticks. <laughs> so, when, yeah. so when you get out of gas, you want the thing to definitely stick. And, and like you said, it drives straight off the corner. Yeah, you look at him. He's right off that bottom line, about a car length, a car length and a half. We just saw Jimmy Johnson in the 17 race, and they go in and let him slide up a little bit and then get it gathered up and go again. And it only takes that split second to gather it up and go again. But Junior's car has rotated through that the center of the corner. He and Tony Stewart, we spoke of it earlier, right here when it changes direction. Yeah. Their two cars were the, were the better cars. There's Steve Latari. He plays a couple of roles. Sometimes the calming influence. Other times he's the cheerleader. And as Jimmy Johnson loses another position, that's Greg Biffle getting by for fourth in the running order. Jimmy's got to just lost it or Jim, something. Either that or he's worried about his tires. With, with six or seven laps to go, he must be, he may be feeling something in his tires that he's just trying to bring at home. Dale Jr. across the start finish line. Six laps remaining to his first win in 143 starts. And when you think about Dale Earnhardt Jr. and what he's meant to the sport over the years, today his 450th start in NASCAR's top series. He's been around a good while. Dale Earnhardt Jr. very much aware of the fact that he hasn't won in a while as he comes around here and sees five laps remaining. Five How's he feeling right inside the race car, Wally? Oh, I, I got over five seconds. So that, here. Five more. that right there is what you want to hear. I mean, you, you've got five seconds, your car's working great, you got five laps to go. I mean, basically, you're on cruise right here. Just don't make any mistakes, but the biggest thing is he's not being pressured, so. Yeah, if he had someone right in his rearview mirror, you could understand feeling the pressure, thinking about the long windless streak, and maybe having your hand forced into a mistake. When you got a big lead, that's got to help. Yeah, but I don't think Junior's ever really thought about the long windless streak. He just yeah. thought about winning the race and, and getting to where he's at. You know, he's always played it off, and I don't think he played it off as much as he, he truly, truly felt that and believed that, that he was going to win again. Junior off a of turn two and down the back straightaway. When he comes around this time, it will be three laps remaining. I know what he doesn't want to see is a caution. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, a, I was just looking to see where Jimmy Johnson was to see if he was having an issue, but he's kind of fell in to a pretty good rhythm, and Jimmy's trying to stay ahead of the 24 car of Jeff Gordon. But he's way off the pace he's way running. Off. He's running. Last lap was 184. Two, three laps ago, he's running 188. Now, Jimmy Johnson changed engines, came from the back to 
the fifth position. Ryan Newman did the same. He's one lap down in 17th. And Carl Edwards, who had to start at the rear of the field after qualifying problems yesterday, finds himself 11th in the latter stages. I hate they paved Michigan, to be honest with you. Because these fans are going to burn this place down <laughs> when we get to that point. It was just going to be a big old waste of money. But Junior has, I mean, this has been a great day for these guys. No, oh, it has. They have dominated. This will be the 93rd lap he has led as we get two to go in the Quicken Loans 400. You're on board with Dale Earnhardt Jr. Look at how that steering wheel, how steady that is. Yeah. Don't know why, he just needs to get back to this. And then it won't matter if we get a caution because the green-white checker situation will be out the window once Dale Earnhardt Jr. gets the white flag. And he sees it right now. There you go, buddy, white flag. Two more miles to victory for Dale Earnhardt Jr. as the crowd stands and cheers here at Michigan. Oh, my God. I, I, I wish people at home could be here to see these people in the grandstands and to hear them. We're up here in the TV, TV booth, and you can hear these people. Junior down the back straightaway and into turn three for the final time. There is going to be a party in Junior Nation tonight. Pretty bad winning, boy. Hell yeah. <laughs> the streak is over. Dale Earnhardt Jr. Good back to victory lane in Michigan. See that monkey fly off his back when yep. he took the check flag? Yeah, you know, but I, I think his voice said it all when he said, I really don't know what to say. After all that time, listen to the crowd. After all that time, he expected it. And, and I think that said it all. He hadn't been able to celebrate in a while. He's going to make this one last. Burn it down, Dale Jr. After 143 races without a win, he's making the donuts on the front straightaway. Popular win for the driver, and I'm sure the crew chief is smiling as well. Let's check in downstairs.